Hello guys, Brooklyn here, and today we have some big Santa leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not subscribe as well as turn notifications and like the video, but let's get into it. So the Sanctum Sanctorum has become quite the popular Marvel building over the past few years as it appeared in quite a few of the films. Lego produced one back in 2018 for Infinity War, but given Lego loves its big models, it was only a matter of time until Lego decided to make a big version. And that of course is Sem6218, the Doctor Strange Sanctum Sanctorum, this one being a Marvel big set, coming in at 2,708 pieces. It's going to be retailing for $220 and it should be launching on August 1st, and we've known already that this one is going to be a modular building on a 32 by 32 base plate and it's going to be a mashup of infinity war and also multiverse of madness in terms of the references and also the figures and that is what we have a big leak for today with four brand new figures from this set so first off we have zombie strange which features a brand new face print and also some great torso and leg printing it uses a hairpiece from ninjog i think for the class minifigure but the printing looks great it pretty much accurately represents what we see in the movie for zombie strange and then we also have a brand new Ebony Mall. This one, an Infinity War minifigure. This one is a lot more accurate than the version we saw in the original Sanctum Sanctorum with the light blue head. It's basically more accurate to what we see, but sadly, that means we get no leg printing, which is a shame. But there is some brand new torso printing. It's new, and then also that face print with the new skin tone to give it more accuracy to see what we see in the film. Nonetheless, a pretty good figure. I know it could have benefited from some leg printing. And they also have a brand new version of Spider Man. This one is the only figure in the set which isn't going to include arm printing. We can see there's some new torso printing and leg printing only slight differences but it is brand new and then i think also maybe the head is new i'm not too sure but definitely some new torso and leg printing on that figure and then we move on to wong this one a bit of a letdown as well like ebony more it features some new updated torso printing and face printing but sadly no leg printing like we saw with the infinity war version which was pretty limited in a bricktober pack which is a shame but nonetheless we do get a version of wong in an infinity war which is why he has no hair in this set i know in the multiverse of madness he has hair but there is differences as it is a different time period then we've already seen images of sinister strange this one with the third eye as well on one of the faces and then a smirking impression on the other face and then in terms of the other minifigures which we'll see in the set we're seeing iron man mark 50 that one being from infinity war then also a version of Scarlet Witch from Multiverse of Madness, and then also Doctor Strange as a normal version. I presume this will be the same one we saw at the start of the year. I don't think they'll produce a new version just for this set. And then also Mordo is going to be included in this set, which we've already potentially seen a hairpiece for a few weeks ago now, and this one could also be used for the Avatar sets. But I think overall, when you look at the figures, there are some great ones like Zombie Strange and Sinister Strange, so they've gone all out with torso and leg and face printing. But then you look at like Ebony Maw with no leg printing, and also Wong, which feels like a downgrade and it feels like half the figures for this set are going to be really good and half are going to be a little bit weak like i mean we haven't even seen four of them but it could be that they've gone all out on some versions like the multiverse of madness but kind of not done as good a job on the infinity war ones which is a bit of a shame but of course this one is modular so the building itself will be pretty impressive we already saw the daily bugle and how many figures bring that set to life so i'm sure it'll be pretty similar with this one and i said before the retail price of 220 dollars of course lego are bringing some price changes in across the board so it now could potentially cost $250 well it is going to cost that much but it's whether it'll happen in September or it'll happen in August when they bring this set out but if they don't pick this up as soon as it comes out otherwise you'll be paying $30 extra just a month later and as I said before free D2C sets are coming for Marvel this year we saw the Daily Bugle last year which goes great with modulars at the Sanctum that's going to be impressive as a display model being a modular and then potentially we get an Avengers Tower as a $500 set later in the year we're going to have a really good Marvel modular display by the end of the year and this set a lot of you are asking when is it going to be revealed but it'll either be revealed at LegoCon that's in two weeks I'd say probably 50 50 chance it'll be revealed there if not this one being based off multiverse of madness I'd say probably early July like a normal set will be revealed but looking at the minifigures they are just good I'm happy with some of them I'm glad we're getting more accurate representations of when we saw Infinity War with like Ebony more even going all out with a Spider-Man making the print even more detailed I just feel like some could have been a little bit better like Wong but Sinister Strange on the other hand looks really good I'm really excited for this set cannot wait to see this one but comment down below which figures are you liking which ones are you not are you excited for this set like video subscribe and turn notifications more like videos and like news videos you watch any of videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking i'm breaking i'll see you all later guys bye bye